Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to my channel, Unbiased LLC. How y'all doing today? Happy Tuesday. Um, today is week 43, four, three. Did I say four, three <laughs> of uh, Sew Up to Glow Up Tuesdays with your girl, Unbiased. Um, and today we doing something just a little bit different because your girl is tired. Okay. Um, so I was talking on the phone last night to one of my channel members and also a subscriber of my YouTube channel. And you guys know her as Fabulous32. And she suggested this tutorial today. So I hope and I pray that you guys find this somewhat helpful. I want to make a disclaimer before I start. This is the way that I do it. I can't tell you what nobody else do. This is how I learned it. And this is what I'm doing. So Canva is free. And today I will teach you guys how I make thumbnails. Um, so let me just go in and speak to a couple of people before we start. And I am so appreciative that you guys are here. I also want to say we made it to 2.5, baby. Okay. And it, we made it before the end of May. Shout out to all the people who came in and subscribed to this channel, left notifications. I want to give a big shout out to my uncle, Lead Former 73, baby. And I know you probably listening. Shout out to you, King. No, he is not the only person who sent channel people over here okay but he made it possible i know he made it possible because um he just did because that's just who he is okay but to anybody else who sent people my way i appreciate you too um you know i want to shout everybody out just period because there would not be no me without you guys so i appreciate each and every one of you um your girl made it to 2.5. Okay. So my job is to keep them here. My job is also to continue to grow. So guess what? <laughs> we got a new uh, goal. Okay. So your girl is trying to get to 3K by the end of the month. <laughs> is it possible? Yes, because anything is possible um is it realistic yeah because anything is realistic as long as you manifest that into your life honey okay so we are manifesting in the name of jesus 3k by the end of may so if you have not subscribed to this channel please do so what you waiting on i mean <laughs> it's your girl okay <laughs> okay so congratulations are in order. <laughs> they are in order. Okay. I'll wait. Now just wait. Let me stop. Okay. <laughs> African dream and welcome in king and queen. I appreciate you guys for being here. 755, welcome in queen. Thank you for being a Purple Patch crew member. Miss Lena Dog Crafting, welcome in queen. Late night crafting with Stacy. Welcome in queen. Shandy Cheek Music, welcome in queen. I appreciate you for being here. Ruji Crafting, thank you for being a Purple Patch crew member. I appreciate you for being here. Liz B. Journey, welcome in, Queen. I appreciate you for being here, and thank you for being a Purple Patch crew member. Uh, Picture Me Crafting, welcome in, Queen, and I appreciate you for being here. Dimps Designs, my girl. Welcome in, Queen. Thank you for being here. Um, If y'all have not seen Miss Linda Gray's first live dimps if you are available queen can you please drop her channel link in the chat i would gladly appreciate it joshua gabriel gabriel welcome in king and thank you for being here wipe down tv welcome in king okay i'm sorry um tamika davis welcome in queen thank you for being here Developing Minds, thank you for being here. Cooking with Net TV, welcome in, Queen, and thank you for being here. 
Passionately Intrigued Arts. Welcome and thank you for being here and thank you for being a Purple Patch Crew member. Miss Cheryl Faulkner. Hey, Queen. I'm doing well. Thank you for being here, Queen. Um, yes, baby. Congratulations on, in order. <laughs> Happy Mac. Welcome in. I appreciate you for being here, King. Can't stop walking, but love to mow. Welcome in, King. I appreciate you for being here. Anybody from the Facebook side, I appreciate you for being here as well. I cannot see your name, but I appreciate you for being here. Um, let me just make sure that we did. Sweet Re, welcome in, Queen. And thank you for being a Purple Patch Crew member. I just want to tell you, honey, if you're still listening, you need to tell Nightbot to leave me alone. Nightbot timed me out of your live uh, on Monday. And okay, <laughs> your girl just be wanting to, you know, put a little few emojis in the chat just to celebrate your accomplishments and everything. But Nightbot is not friendly. Okay, but I still love you, sweet Ree. Um, Let's make sure we are not missing anybody. Sunshine to sunset with Rashonda. Welcome in, Queen. Thank you for being here and thank you for being a Purple Patch Crew member. Deborah Garrett, welcome in, Queen. Miss Sonia Siegler, welcome in, Queen. And thank you for being a Purple Patch Crew member. Um, I'm she is sunshine. Hey, Queen, and thank you for being here. And thank you for my lovely donation to buy me a thimble, honey. It's on the way. I also want to say thank you to Dominique LeBlue for sending me a blessing on Mother's Day. Y'all, I ain't asked for it. I ain't asked for the blessing, but she thought of me enough to send me a cash app blessing for Mother's Day and Y'all, let me tell you, I was like, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Okay, because people don't have to think about you. They do not have to, you know, they just don't. <laughs> they just don't. They got their own lives to live. Okay, so Dominique LeBlue, baby, I appreciate you, queen. And I pray that everybody had a blessed Mother's Day, whether you was by yourself with your family or doing your own thing, honey. I appreciate the listen. God is good. He woke us all up because if not, you wouldn't be in this chat. So let's just praise God on that. Okay. Let me make sure y'all, I didn't forget anybody because I don't want to, I want to be rude. Unicorn Lady Tech, welcome in queen. CP family, welcome in. I appreciate you guys for being here. Y'all, I'm trying to get to the bottom of this chat. Okay. I'm trying. I'm trying. Joyce Vaughn, welcome in, welcome in. Um, hey, the crafty Puerto Rican, welcome in, Queen. Official J Mia, welcome in, Queen. Mary Brown, welcome in, Queen. Anybody from the Facebook side, welcome in. Like I said, I can't see you, but I, I hope that you are here with us. Passionately intrigued, Doris. Did I speak to you, Queen? If not, hey, and thank you for being a Purple Patch Crew member. J3GS Forms. Welcome in, King. I appreciate you for being here. Okay, y'all, I'm trying to get to the bottom. I'm trying to get to the bottom. Outspoken Libra Krista. Welcome in, Queen. I appreciate you for being here and being the first time on Unbiased LLC, baby. I'm going to stir you up in just a minute. Y'all welcome in outspoken Libra Krista. Let make sure that she feels welcome in the chat. Okay. Sweet Reed, did you hear what I said, Queen, about that dog on Nightbot? Okay. All right. We got to get Nightbot tidied up. He, he just got to go. He got to be got to he got to do something. Got to do something. Okay. So as the title said, you guys, I'm sorry for blabbling on, but um on this channel, we do speak to people and we try our best to be um polite. <laughs> okay. So when you come to my house, I'm going to speak to you. When I go to your house, I'm going to speak to you. So I'm just being, you know what I'm saying. I have manners sometimes. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we are going to work on Canva. Like I said, Canva is free. However, they do have a paid version. So through this demonstration, I will show you guys the free version, and then I can show you what you, you can be offered with the paid version, which I do have. Um, so it's up to you how far you would like to take your thumbnails, okay? So if anybody would like to um, 
walk through Canva with me, open up a tab and go to Canva. If you have the app on your phone, your um, iPad, your laptop, your computer, wherever you may have Canva available to you, open it up and you can walk it, walk through it with me. Just put in the chat, I'm walking with you or something like that so I can know who I'm speaking to, okay? Um, hey, Fab, welcome in, Queen. I appreciate you and thank you for being a Purple Patch Crew member and thank you for this live today, baby, okay? Stay in the bushes, boo-boo, as long as you can hear me. <laughs> okay, walking with me. Okay, I got you, Passionately Intrigued Arts. So while um, Miss Cheryl, all you have to do is on your computer, go to canva.com and it should pull up. Or if you have like a, if you using a Chromebook or something, go to your Google app store, type in Canva and the app should pull up. So for the iPhone you or, or iPad or MacBook products, you go to your Apple store, you type in Canva, and it should pull up the free version, okay? On your PC or your tablets, you should have some type of Google store or whatever store you, you know, your computer provides. Go to that store and type in Canva, C-A-N-V-A, and that should pull up. And you just download it real quick. And then um, what else? Uh, Samsung phone also. You can do it on your phone. No excuses. No excuses. No excuses. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. So my thumbnails be awful. I use some, some same ones. Sweet read. No, ma'am. No, they don't. So if you put up a thumbnail... That's a bonus. If you allow YouTube to put your thumbnails up, wah, why? Because most of the time when they put a thumbnail up of you, you like this. You know, you do it. Like, I swear, like Uni say, I swear before holy water. They put the craziest thumbnails of you up. You could be cute, cute, cute throughout your live or your video or your whatever. <laughs> I promise you, whoever works behind the scene, behind the screen, will go and zoom all the way until they get to that doggone place in where your video got stuck and you like this. And they'll put that one up. They'll use that one versus, you know, the cute one at the end or the beginning. Okay. <laughs> um, it's downloading now. Okay. Big facts. Okay, dips. I'm trying to tell you, honey. I'm trying to tell you. Um, okay, so everybody, we will. Hey, Miss Marissa, welcome in, Queen. Okay, so um, is there any other things that I need to say? I don't know, but I'm gonna go and share my screen. And then um, y'all pray for me because I'm using my tablet and I've never shared my screen on here before. So. And I need the window. Nope, I need the entire screen, right? Okay. So. Ah. <laughs> And your girl giving you two angles, baby. I got you from the front and the side. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Get into it. Get into it. Okay. So we are going to go to Canva. So this is Canva. This is Canva.com. Okay. Let me see if I can put the, the comments up on this chat so that I can see what you guys are saying or asking me, if anything. I do have it, but need to know where to go. Um, What you mean, Miss Cheryl? What you mean, need to know where to go, Queen?
Sweet Reese say my eyes be closed, my mouth be wide open. No, ma'am. I love your thumbnails. Okay. I'm, I have the comments up on my phone, y'all. So I will, I will be looking in the chat periodically. But whoever is walking with me, you know, walking this through with me, this is the home screen of Canva, I believe. Let me see. Let me tap it. Yes. Okay. So one thing you do get with the paid version of Canva is if I scroll down, you can see all of the thumbnails that I have ever created and it saves it. Okay. It says it will give me, yes, seven day free trial. Yes, it will give you a seven day free trial today. Okay, from so you have seven days, and then you can still get the free version. But you know, listen, I'm just gonna be honest, it's worth paying for. But I am going to, I'm gonna do a poll because I have a secret. And I can't say it on YouTube. However, I can do a Zoom call. <laughs> y'all just need to email me if y'all want me to do the Zoom call. That way I'll have your email address and I will set, a, set up a Zoom meeting and I will give y'all the secret sauce. I can't say it on YouTube because they're going to come get me. So, all right. Let me... Let me get to the let me get to it first. I gotta be able to see the comments, y'all. I'm sorry. Give me a second. If y'all start hearing any feedback, please let me know. Please let me know. Okay, JV, JV, I got you, Queen. Okay, happy Mac. I got you. Okay, so this is all right. I'm sorry. Let me turn that down. This is the um home page of Canva. Okay, let's get down to it. So in Canva, can y'all see me moving? Yeah, okay. So I'm going to take my mouse and scroll over. Hold on, let me make this screen just a little bit bigger. Oh, I said bigger, not smaller. Okay. All right, so now you should be able to see the full screen okay so now it says right here in the title bar and mine automatically pulls up because i use canva for everything but in the title bar when it drops down you're going to type youtube thumbnail just like that and you're going to press enter and this is what pulls up when when you type in youtube thumbnails it's going to give you templates already created templates okay you can choose to keep the same background as you see with some of these you can keep the same exact background okay welcome in mt loving and living and cooking cruising is fun anytime welcome in anthony holmes welcome in king uh, if i missed anybody in the chat i apologize i'm just trying to go through this without you know hesitation uh but if you do have a question as i'm explaining this you can leave it in the chat i am watching my phone okay so do you guys hear an echo if not i will continue um so these are the youtube thumbnails that have already been pre-created for you to use okay just say that you have a theme color and every time you go live you want your background to be yellow well you can find one of these that's yellow and use it as your template okay so i'm just going to pick one and y'all know I like purple, but I'm going to go with the yellow one. Ha ha, Fuji. So when you click on that template, it shows you the name of that template. And then right underneath it, it tells you who created the template. So if you want to shout that person out for creating that template because you really do like it, 
you can do that you can add that person on your um under your description in your videos okay then if you want to use this template we are going to click customize this template no echo thank you thank you thank you okay give give it just a second to load up so it depends on how much stuff is actually in the background of the okay how much stuff that they use to create the template so these templates are created by layers some people have 10 layers of stuff on top of each other on top of each other on top of each other when you get ready to create your own th thumbnail you decide if all of these elements so if i click this you can see there is a box that will highlight where a element is i'm hoping that you guys can see that do i need to make myself full do i need to make this a full screen so you guys can see better miss d's welcome in queen i appreciate you for being here guava let me know if y'all want me to make get me off the screen and just the the uh background i mean the the canva let me know if that will help you be able to see better you see it okay so if i click this man i can move him around i can move him around i can flip him in another direction so let me show you i click him and at the top of my screen right here it shows the word flip and if you drop that down you can change him upside down horizontally you know whichever way you choose whatever floats your boat okay if you choose to continue to use him if you don't want him in your thumbnail once he is highlighted you just click this box that says delete and he's gone so now all you have is so that's one layer that we just removed now you have this layer you have this layer you have this layer this layer and so forth and so on okay so i am going to remove all of this the only thing that i want on this canvas is the yellow bricks in the back Y'all let me know if y'all with me or if I'm moving too fast, if I didn't explain something well enough. I'm not a teacher, but I'm going to try my best to give y'all what I got. So this is all we want is the yellow, the yellow background. Because my favorite color is yellow, not to say mine, but you know, if that's what you choose to use, right? So we have this yellow background now that's empty. So if we come to the left, our left panel over here, at the top it says designs. The next tab is elements. The next tab is uploads. The next tab is text, drawings, apps, projects, photos, and background. So these are your layers so this is what helps to build your layers on top of your yellow um bricks okay so if everybody is following me i am going you already have so the design is at the top that's the first tab but your yellow bricks is your design that is considered your design when you chose this template that is considered your design okay so you don't have to use that unless you would like to change it so i am going to click elements which is, which is the tab right underneath it okay so say in this in this search engine bar let's just say that jaguars is my uh you know like that's my thing okay i'm going to type in jaguars to see if 
they have pictures okay i am going to if y'all can see the jaguars right here it says graphics under this title if you move down just a little bit it shows you the photos of a, a jaguar and if you move down even more it shows you videos you cannot use videos for thumbnails however if you're editing a video for youtube you can come and grab a piece of this video and add it to your um to your video when you're editing that's for another live okay so i just want you to see if i click on this first jaguar at the bottom it says edu that's the paid version that i have so i'm going to go over to this third jaguar because it's free i want you to be able to use the free version before paying for it so all i have to do is click on the jaguar and he or she appears on top of my yellow brick wall welcome in everybody if i did not speak to you i apologize growing with hudson i believe you're in here i'm not sure um wellness with frugal mama welcome in queen okay so this is my jaguar and let's just so if you take this jaguar and you have these little white dots which is your sizing dots okay on each corner you have a sizing dot no matter which one you drag you can make this bigger no wonder no matter which one you pull in you can make it smaller these are your sizing dots okay so now we have our jaguar here okay what's what if we wanted our jaguar to be walking in the grass or to appear that he or she is walking in the grass what we're going to do is go back to our search bar stay on the elements tab you will use the elements tab and the text box tab more than anything and anything you will also use the uploads button but i'm gonna show you guys that in just one second give me give me a minute if i take away the jaguar and type in grass it starts showing me pictures of the grass okay so all of these and i'm gonna press see all that's just an expanding my grass pleasure i guess okay most of the time your free stuff is always going to be at the top you don't have to scroll down towards the bottom because most of the time those are paid versions okay so we'll just take what is at the top and I'm going to click on this second grass and it added it to my canvas. Okay. So now I'm going to take this grass and I'm just moving it down to the bottom of my screen. I'm going to take one of my sizing handles and I'm going to extend it okay and then i'm going to take my jaguar and i'm going to move him or her down so my grass is a little taller than my jaguar but it's okay but did you see how i made an illusion that my jaguar is walking either in or behind the grass if y'all with me say y'all with me so i can continue i don't want to lose anybody and i don't want to go too fast hey house of x welcome in kings okay i got you okay i will i will king bear 757 welcome in i appreciate you guys for being here you with me all right so now we have our jaguar because this is our staple and we have grass because we just want our jaguar to look like he is really walking in the grass okay so now if i go back up to my elements i can let's just 
okay let me see maybe we can um let me say this in your elements search bar type in what you're looking for if you want balloons if you want balloon backgrounds if you want um if you want a chandelier hanging from the ceiling on your 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 thumbnails type it in elements it will tell you or show you what they have and it will show you what you can use as far as if you have the free version if you have the paid version you can pretty much choose anything okay so now i'm going to go to my text box on the left if y'all could see this right here this is the text box on the left i'm going to click my text box i'm clicking in the on the left panel okay when i get to the middle or the right side of this panel it tells me add a text box or click the text to add to the page it doesn't show anything right here because i have nothing set up i have nothing to say right i can also say add a heading let me be clear the heading is what you are looking for why because you want your heading to be the focal point of your thumbnail not the jaguar and not the grass i'm gonna say that again you want to use add a heading because you want heading to be the focal point of your thumbnail and not all that other stuff you have going on on your thumbnails okay so i'm going to click add a heading and it's going to pop up in my on my yellow page i mean on my yellow background okay so i am going to just type uh let's see you want to type a day at the zoo let's just go there a day at the zoo so if i keep this just like this it's too small nobody's going to see that nobody is going to see that okay so what your focal is your focus is you want to highlight the whole thing uh oh hold on i'm i'm clicking too fast hold on make sure that you highlight the whole saying whatever your choice words are okay and then you're gonna go up to the top where the fonts if they have a fonts drop down box you want to click that drop down box and to your left you want to scroll through and find the free fonts if you click the font that has this um crown you're gonna have to end up paying for it the fonts without the crown like this one and this one do not cost you anything so i'm going to click horizon and i want you guys to tell me in the chat what do you see from what is on the screen right now let me know if you guys can see the difference from what we had to what we have canvas is what you use house of x okay cool the words yes they are bigger they not as big as i would like them but they are bigger if i press the back button i will show you this is what we started with and now this is what we have and you know ray charles almost could see this okay so this is what i would like for you guys to do since this box is already highlighted highlight the word at a day at the zoo and at the top there is a minus a set of numbers and a plus at the top 
if you click the plus plus button it will make your words bigger i like to try to make my words as big as they will go without spilling over okay what i mean by that i want a day at the zoo to be all in one line so i don't want to make my words like this and you see how it's, it dropped down i don't want it to be like that so i want to keep my words on one line so i'm going to press the minus and so my words are at 68 the 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 font is 68. i got lost in the sauce a customer rang my doorbell so i got distracted for five minutes or so okay passionately and tree let me know if you back on track queen hey always tam tam welcome to see you queen thank you for being here and uh thank you for being an awesome awesome moderator okay so this is what we have so now everybody with me what i want to do is also highlight a day at the zoo even bigger so with this being clicked it should have a purple box or whatever box around it at the top is going to say effects so you're going to click effects effects you can choose any one of these effects on the left hand side as long as it does not have a crown on it and most effects are free i like to use this one at the bottom that says background if i click the one at the bottom the ag that says background it gave me a background but it's yellow so if i scroll down just a little bit you will see the color choices for my background i can change this to whatever color i want based on what is the the colors that are given to me one thing i can tell you is youtube thumbnails they like vibrancy <laughs> so i can go with that or i can go with the white but you can change this to whatever color floats your boat okay and i think i'm just going to keep it within my green family so i'm going to keep it with the lime green in the background okay so now we are almost done believe it or not i'm gonna show you guys how to put your own pictures in but believe it or not this is almost done so the next thing i want to do is go back to my elements and i just want to find some so now they are giving me birds so maybe i'll get this green bird because birds are at the zoo too right so you just put whatever you like okay so here is another example stick with me y'all i'm sorry if i click on my bird and i right click on my mouse right click on your mouse okay so my bird can't be moved uh let me not go there i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it but let's just keep the bird i'm sorry i'm sorry go back to the bird so now you can place the bird wherever you would like on your canvas okay this little button right here lets you rotate the bird you can rotate the bird you can flip the bird upside down you can do whatever you want to do to the bird okay i'm back on my elements page and i'm going to click see all and i want to see different whatevers okay i'm not going to get anything in the water because if i do then that means i need to create something with the water base so i can get another bird i'm going to rotate this bird and i'm going to also go back to my elements and type in the word tree 
because now I feel like my birds need a tree. Okay. So I am going to, let's just say, is this tree? So basically, whatever you put and click on. Oh, it works, y'all. Hold on. Okay, listen. I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't know it was going to do that. Okay, listen. If you put a bird or another animal on your thumbnail, if you do right-click it, it says layer. Go to the word that says layer. It's going to bring you down another drop-down menu. I want to put my bird in the tree. So I'm going to bring my bird in front of my tree by pressing bring to the front. Let me show you what the bird looks like right now. Right now, I just hid my bird behind the tree. Now I want to take my bird and bring my bird in front of my tree, okay? So I'm going to right click my bird, go to my layer and bring to the front, click it one time. So now when I take my bird, I can put him in the tree or on top of the tree or beside the tree, but he is in front of my tree, okay? Y'all let me know if y'all saw that, if y'all understood what I said. I'm going to bring the blue one to the front as well. So now my blue bird is in the tree, on top of the tree, in front of the tree, however you would like to say it. Rambo Green Hands, welcome in, King. So is everybody with me? Is everybody with me? Do you understand what I'm saying? Do I need to repeat anything? Do, do you, you know, is there any steps that I'm missing? This is just to show you the basics. So this is not like a full-blown Canva layout, okay? This is just to show you how you can manipulate this program to work for your benefit. Honestly, I would not be using these pictures because it looks if you're if you have a kid channel, awesome. Okay? But as far as an adult channel, this is childish. But I just wanted to show you elements that you can put in and bring to your your canvas on the yellow side and just show you how it looks or what what it will look like, okay? So now what I want to do is actually show you how to bring in images from Google into Canva and use them in your thumbnails. Let me know if you guys are interested in that. Hey, Martika, welcome in, Queen. And... I will clear all of this stuff out so that we can start fresh. I'm going to keep the yellow background because I know that you guys can see it clear, okay? So I'm not going to change the background. I'm just going to keep it the same. And I just want you guys to see, I can change the color of my background just by clicking in my color chart. <clears throat> But I'm going to bring, I'm just going to press the back button so we can come back to our yellow bricks. Where do you go? Where do you got room? I'm interested. Where do you got room? What you mean, Miss Cheryl? Can you do pictures too? You can do personal pictures. You can also do pictures off of Google. So the way that I do a picture, let me just show you guys. Let me show you. <clears throat> if y'all look 
I'm over here, okay? I am going to take a screenshot of myself right now. Okay. I took a screenshot of myself. I mean, I took a picture of myself. What I normally do, if I take a picture from my phone, let me make myself big maybe because I, I want you guys to be able to see this. If I take a screenshot of myself from my phone, what I normally do is I email this picture to myself. So whatever email you use to create your Canva account, you email the picture to yourself. So I'm just going to email this picture to myself. And I'm just going to say Tuesday live. And that way we know once it come in, which picture we are looking for. Okay. I am not going to show you guys my email. I'm not. But what I will do is just go. So basically, if you email it to yourself, you're going to go and open up that email and you're going to download that picture into whatever files you have on your computer, your phone or whatever you're using. Download that picture. So I am going to go to my email and I'll be right back. I'm still here, but I'm just not going to show you guys my email. Um, let me figure out how to get in it first. Oh, open up a new tab. I just want to make sure y'all can't see this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is go to my email address that I sent the picture to. I'm going to open up the email. And at the bottom they should have a button that has a arrow that drops down the arrow is going to say download the picture this is 6004 okay so let me clean this up okay let me know if you guys are with me i'm coming back to the screen oh thank you queen um okay so now i'm gonna share my screen because now i downloaded my image to my file folder on my laptop okay so let's go back to this um so now i'm going to click my files I'm going to go to my downloads and I know that this is the picture that I just took. I'm going to open it up for you guys so you can see it. Okay. So this is my picture. I'm going to close this. The only reason I went to my file folder to see the picture is to get the name of the picture. It is IMG6004, okay? Y'all have to remember that when you go back to Canva. So now I am going back to my palette, okay? I'm back at Canva. Oh, I can't see y'all comments. Hold on, I turned this off. I turned it off to take the doggone picture. Hold on, y'all. Welcome in Facebook and uh youtube i appreciate you guys for being here hold on let me just get back to the to the live okay so now i'm back now what i want to do is over here on the left i want to go to my tab that says uploads click it 
all of these are the pictures that I have used and made thumbnails with and will have used, okay? So I'm going to press the button that says upload thumbnails. I'm going to find the number or the name of the picture that I just downloaded and press open. It's going to load into this thing and then you're going to click it and it brings brings it to your yellow palette. Hey, Dawn, welcome in, Queen. It brings you to your yellow palette, okay? So... Y'all see, I have all this stuff in the background of my picture. I can keep it like that if I am about to do some type of sewing um, tutorial or what have you, right? I just want to size it and make it as big or as tall. Look at this, from top to bottom from top to bottom i want my picture to go at the top and i want it to go to the bottom so i'm gonna size my picture from top to bottom the width does the width does not matter but top to bottom okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove the background but before i do i'm just going to duplicate this picture so that you guys can see the difference okay so we're going to be working with the one on the left if i highlight this picture which you can see is highlighted okay i'm going to go to the top and say edit photo i'm going to click that this is going to bring in the toolbar. Now, I don't know if anybody in the chat, do you guys see remove background on your selection? Because I have the paid version and I don't want to tell you guys anything that's not listed on the free version. If you go to the top, after clicking your photo and say edit photo this box should come up do you guys see background remover somebody let me know in the chat and i know we on a delay but um yes okay you see it so you're going to click the button that says bg remover and watch what it does to the picture on the left it's a lot back there so it may take a take a minute but look at me now look at me now hey sleazy welcome in queen Look at this picture versus what I started with. Hey, Butter Row Boutique, welcome in, Queen. Let me know if y'all see it. I got you, Sleazy. All you got to do is reach out and touch me, baby. You see it. All right. So like i said the picture on the right if i was getting ready to do some type of sewing tutorial or class or whatever the case may be i would want my thread and you know all of this stuff in the background just so people can see that i do have you know that i am about to sew or i do have sewing supplies or whatever the case may be whatever you call it okay but if i don't want them just say i'm about to do a tutorial about um picking in my garden i don't want this picture so i'm going to delete it but i want to make sure that everybody sees this before i delete this picture just make sure that you understand what i did if i need to repeat it please say that If I need to repeat it, hey, Juicing with Jay, welcome in, King. If I need to, if I can go on, put some purple hearts in the chat.
So while we waiting for some type of response, let me put this phone down so I can see. Um, that's how you do that. Okay. And so I will tell you that I can flip my picture in the opposite direction. So it just depends on which way you want this to go. Okay. I can move on. I'm good. So I'm going to delete the picture with all the stuff in the background. Now we are left with this one. Okay. And believe it or not, if you look at the purple box that my photo is in, pay attention to this. My photo is all the way up and down. If you look at the purple box and not my picture per se, does that make sense? My picture looks small, but according to Canva, look at this, my purple box, which is the outline of my photo, is big enough for this canvas. Did I make myself clear? Let me know in the chat, please. I want you guys to understand that. As long as Canva is saying that my purple outline box is big enough to go from the top to the bottom of my canvas, my canvas, I mean, my picture is big enough. Okay, moving on. So now we have our picture. I'm going to go back to elements. And on this, I am, let's say that I, I'm raising my hand. So let's see, what can we do with this? Um, somebody make a suggestion. I will put what you guys want to see. Somebody make a suggestion what you want to see on the canvas and we'll go from there. That way you can you can actually see how to do this. I'm looking for elements at the moment. Something to add to our canvas. So while you're doing that, I will just go and put, let's just say it's my birthday. I'm gonna put some balloons on my on my canvas. Okay. Um I can choose. The birthday balloons, whatever you want, um, you know, just go and find what you're looking for is all I can tell you, okay? Holding a plant. Okay, I got you. So let me erase the balloons and let's put in plants. My hand is up, but we'll go for it. We'll go for it. So this is my plant. Okay, girl. All right, Miss Cheryl. I see you, boo boo. Okay, so we have our plant. Let me see. I think this one looks oh, that one looks cheesy too. Um, graphics see all. And I don't want to get one that's not free because you guys would not have that option. Okay, let's see. This one looks good. Let's get rid of this because it's cheesy looking. And let's put that in our hand okay we got it so now we're going to go to the text box and we are going to choose add a heading and i'm just going to put garden update so now we are left with these words right I don't want it like that. So I highlight it. I go up to the top where I can drop down my um, fonts. And I am going to tap. Let's see what Ashton looks like. Or Anton, I'm sorry. Anton is a free font. And it's okay because it's big and thick. So now it's already highlighted or still highlighted. I am going to go up to the top again and press my plus button to make it bigger and i'm just gonna keep making it as big as i want okay 
and I'm just going to bring it down just a little bit. And I don't think that it needs anything in the background, but I'll just show you the effect. So if I click it, I go up to the top and I press the word effects. And then I like to use the background. So I'm just going to click that again. Yellow, I think, is the default color. So it's always going to turn yellow. But like I said, you can change it to whatever color you need. Okay. I am going to change this one to white. And I'm going to scale this down just a little bit. Just like that. Okay. Then my next thing that I would like for you guys to do is go back to elements and type in the word YouTube subscribe. And it's going to pull up your YouTube subscribe, whatever the case may be. Right. So since I have a white um, thing under my word garden update, I want my subscribe button to be white as well with the red symbol. Because the background of my words garden update is white, I want to use the white subscribe button as well. So I'm going to click it and it comes in really big. Okay. So I'm going to take my little circles and I'm just going to scale it down. And then I'm just going to place it right there. And actually, my thumbnail is complete. You can see what will be put in my video. You can see that I'm holding a plant, thanks to Miss Cheryl. And you can see me. And you can see the subscribe button, meaning I would like for you to, sub to subscribe to my channel. If this was going to be a live garden update, then you're going to go up to your search bar and you're going to type the word live stream. And these come up. Now, you want this to be seen because you want people to know that your video or the video that they will be watching was or is a live stream video. Since my background is white on my words, my subscribe button is white on, on the yellow, I'm going to use my live button with the black. So I'm reversing the colors. Why? Because I want you to be able to see that I was live or I'm going live or whatever the case may be. And I think I want to put this in the top and I'm going to move. I'll move my subscribe button over there. Hey, Alaska. Welcome in, King. You'll have to watch the replay. Butter Road Boutique, if you email me, I'm going to do a Zoom class so that you guys can ask all the questions and get what you need if you email me um we're gonna do a zoom class but let me tell y'all something <laughs> your girl is super busy however um i will dedicate at least two hours to you guys to show you exactly how to do this and that way i can see your computer screen and tell you what you need to do what buttons to click email me and let me know you would like to get um, be in the Zoom class and I will reach out to you. Now, you email me today. Do not expect me to have a Zoom class tomorrow because that is not happening. It may be a week or two from now, but I will have the Zoom class. Okay, I will. So 
Do y'all see what we have on the screen? We have our picture. We have our plant. We also have what our live video will be about. We have the thing at the top that says live stream. And we also have our subscribe button. This is all you need to make a thumbnail, okay? I can add more plants if I wanted to. So I just go back to my elements. I go back and I find whatever plants. Uh, let's just go to plants. They have hanging plants. And, okay, wait. Well, this one is not, that one is not free. But let me show you what the not so free would look like. This is not free, so you guys may, um, you know, you won't, you won't have this one. But just look, I just made more plants. Oh, Butter Row Boutique, you, you, look, it's all about giving back. And I love to give back, okay? So I appreciate you guys for being here. So how does this thumbnail look to you? Can I use this thumbnail? and bring it into youtube and people will see it and understand what's on it or is there something on this thumbnail i need to change in order for you to understand what my live stream or the video is about y'all let me know in the chat i need y'all to talk back to me so that i can i know that you know okay talk back to me so This is all you need to make a thumbnail. If your words are big enough, if your picture, if you have a picture is big enough, that's all you need. So now we are going to take me out of the equation and I'm going to get a picture from Google. Y'all stick with me, okay? I'm going to erase myself. And then I'm going to add a tab and I'm going to type in Google. I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to type in, I'm going to say female gardener because I'm a female, but you can put in male. And I'm going to say image because i want them to show me pictures not you know some crazy stuff okay so i'm going to say female gardener image and i'm gonna click the 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 enter button return or whatever so at the top is going to say images click that tab at the top that says images okay I'm going to slow down so you got, are you guys with me or do I, you know, let me know if I need to slow down because I do talk fast and it's hard to tell somebody, you know, what to do when you already know it. It's like your brain moves faster than the people. So let me know if you guys are okay because I don't want to leave you behind. So once I clicked on images, it brought up all these images, Okay. Hey, Miss Rochelle Vanderpool, welcome in, Queen. Um, it brought in all these gardener images. But remember, we was um, holding our plants in the thumbnail, right? So we want to look for somebody who is actually holding plants, like this lady here, this lady here. And at this point, when you get pictures off of Google, it doesn't matter the race, the color, the none of that. You're just looking for the picture because you need it. If you're not using your own personal pictures, you're just looking for the picture that best suits your thumbnail. Comprende? Comprende. All right. So I'm just trying to see. All right. So she is kneeling down. We are going to try to use this thumbnail, this lady right here. So what I'm going to do is right click my mouse. And it's going to say, save image as. So you're going to right click the picture, 
go up on the menu button and you're gonna click the thing that says save image as click it once you click it it's going to bring up your file folder on your computer or your laptop your phone your whatever wherever you save your stuff at okay y'all listen 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 underneath the thing that says save as type if your picture does not come in as a jpeg or a png somebody type that in the chat j p e g or p n g you can't use it i'm gonna say that one more again your picture has to be saved as a jpeg file or a png file so my picture came in as a jpeg file i can save this picture so i'm going to title this picture female gardener uh for thumbnail or whatever you want to put on yours whatever just so you know that you can go back to it and i'm going to save it do i need to repeat or is everybody with me we went to google we typed in female gardener image whether it's a female a male a girl a boy a cat dog whatever you want to get from google you type it in the search bar make sure you put the word image on the end of it so it don't bring okay let me see what it'll bring up if i take the word image off let's just let's just show you so this is what because you would have been having all so it still brought up it still brought up pictures but i saved myself time and i just do images okay so now we got our picture let's go back to our canvas board and we are going to go to upload upload this file find the name of our lady which is female gardener for thumbnail she is uploading into my into canva i'm gonna click her and they are going to add her to my canvas i need to make her big oh wait a minute let me do it this way i need to make her big now if you can see at the bottom of her photo right here there is copyrights so i suggest that you pay attention to let me clear this out how do i get rid of this box um i don't know i don't know how to get rid of that box um okay well they have copyrights at the bottom of this these this photo so i suggest you move it down to where you can't see it and make your lady a little bit bigger to fit your this thing here okay and i am going to clean her image i'm going to go to edit photo and remove the background because i only want her hey ruthie's this and that and family welcome in queen have a great day at work queen so now we just have her and she's still not as clean as i would like her but we just gonna leave her like this for now we just gonna leave her like this for now okay and so i don't like the little bitty plant that she have in her hand so we're gonna put our plant back in her hand we have to move our plant to the front uh-oh So that we can place it in front of her in her hand and scale it down 
and there you go so we used the kitty part of it which you know it depends on what you're trying to show people on your thumbnail we did that part bringing in the images straight from canva the elements that they have and that they provide we also took a picture of ourselves emailed it to ourselves and sent it to canva cleaned the image and added it to our canvas and then we just took it a picture from google brought it to our canvas cleaned the background and added her to our canvas if i was to use this picture i would probably make this bigger just because she's on the ground okay y'all see what difference that made it made a big difference so now are there any questions i don't know how to take this side oh there you go i'm sorry y'all i kept the side panel on but you don't need to uh welcome in robin i appreciate you for being here queen Do I have any questions? Do anybody need me to explain something else? Because basically this live is complete. On the right side, in the middle, there's an arrow to remove the... Oh, yeah, I got it, uh, unicorn lady. Thank you, queen. And I got my glasses on, girl, and still couldn't see. If I wasn't live, I already knew what a button was, but I, you know, just, I couldn't remember. But I appreciate you, I do i do so if there are no questions y'all don't forget to um email me and um and that way i'll have your email address and we can do a zoom uh before we leave just let me know not a date but a day of the week that works for you Y'all put it in the chat. That way I can kind of see what it is. It sounds easy until you do it. Just play with it. Go to Canva and play with it. The back button arrow up here at this top where it says undo is your best friend. If you put something on this canvas that you don't like, delete it but if you like it use the backspace those are your two best friends because you can always go back into the elements and find it again and once you upload a picture from google or wherever it's going to be in your downloads over here it's going to be over here it's going to be there you don't have to worry about it okay it's going to be there so backspace delete your best friends when you're doing these types of things okay you don't like something change it you like something keep it there i don't have a computer will i still be able to use this program butter Row boutique they have it in the app store of your cell phones uh ipads it just depends on the version of ipads you have or tablets but go to whatever store you have on your device and type in Canva and see what brings up. Most Samsung, Android phones have it, iPhones have it, iPads, tablets, PCs, and MacBook even have um, Canva. I learned something new. I didn't know about removing the background. Oh, you welcome the Crafty Puerto Rican. They have gotten so good with removing the backgrounds in Canva. It is ridiculous. <laughs> like when they first started removing the background, it was not as clean and crisp as it is right now. But when I tell you guys, pay for the pro version if you are going to be using Canva. I mean, if you're going to be going live and shooting out videos for people, the free version is good but the paid version is better i'm I, i'm not 
and I don't even have an affiliate link. This is not paid promotion. This is unbiased giving you the real, period. Nobody's paying me to do this, okay? Um, And it's so easy and it's so simple. So if I don't have any more questions, I'm going to... You can use your phone. Yes, you can use your phone. I use the free version, Alaska. Yes, the free version have a lot of, um, you know, good things, right? Um, so you don't have to pay for it. I'm saying if you want more things, like if you want to be able to do more, just pay for it. It's one time. One time, just pay for it. Good East Homestead. Welcome in, Queen. Um, so if we don't have any questions, I'm going to let you guys go. I appreciate you guys for being here. And if I didn't say it before, thank you, Dominique LeBlu, for surprising me with that cash app for Mother's Day. You didn't have to, but you did, and I appreciate you, Queen. Some things that people do for me would never go unnoticed because I don't ask for it. I don't ask for it. And don't forget, if you would like for me to do a Zoom class, email me and let me know the day, not the date, because you can't make my schedule for me. But put a day that you would like to do the Zoom class, and I will try my best to accommodate the majority of the people. So if the majority of the people say a Friday, and you the only person on a Wednesday, you would have to try to make a Friday. Sometimes you got to sacrifice to get what you need to go where you're trying to go. Okay? So, I'm sacrificing for y'all. You're going to have to sacrifice for me. And that's it and that's all. Okay? <laughs> I want to share something with you guys. So, most of you know, okay, this live is over for the Canva thing right but i just wanted to share something most of you know that i have started growing um vegetables in my garden right for the very first time i see okra <laughs> okra stops like y'all want me to take y'all outside and show you <laughs> y'all i am so excited so let me tell you what i have been doing and what I did different this year versus the year when I called myself trying to grow something. First, the, the first thing I did was I reached out to the people on YouTube, you guys, and y'all helped me. Y'all told me what I needed to do. Y'all told me what to do and how to do it and how to go about doing it. Okay. <laughs> And I'm excited about that. I was excited about that because, as I have stated before, I did not know that they had a community of gardeners on YouTube. I was not looking for that. But I am so grateful to God that I found you guys, okay? The next thing that I did this year that I didn't do before was I paid attention because when I tried to plant before, I just put it in the soil and that was it. Like, I didn't know anything about germination. I didn't, I'm like, germination? What is that? I know what it is now. I mean, I'm not fully, you know, an expert, but I know what it is for now. I know what to look for, right? Um, the other thing that I did this year that I didn't do last year is I listened. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Taurus and I like to do things my way. And that's just what it is, right? But I listened to other people. Can y'all believe that? <laughs> oh, I forgot to stir our new uh, person up. Let me do that real quick. Okay, that was for the new people that came in the chat today to the live. Um, so I listened, okay? And then I started praying over the garden. I'm going to say that again. I started praying over my garden. And I asked God to 
bless this garden. Please allow these vegetables to grow. And guess what? He did. Won't he do it? <laughs> Won't he do it, baby? So I'm going to take y'all outside. Now, listen, my stuff is small, but I have an okra. I guess it's a pod. I don't even know what it's called. Somebody help me out. Okay, somebody help me out. I also started touching the soil because they said, all these gardeners on here said, become one with your soil. So from now on, if y'all see my nails are dirty, <laughs> it's because I've been coming, becoming one with the soil, baby. Don't, don't come over here with that. Okay. <laughs> Don't come over here with that, baby. I'm going to tell y'all how, how good God is because um, I didn't have nothing the first time that I tried this. Nothing grew, nothing happened, nothing, nothing, nothing. God is blessing my little mini garden. He is blessing it, baby. And before long, before long, I will be able to eat from my garden. Baby. Hey, 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 hey. My daughter is calling me. Hold on. My daughter said I'm on a time, I'm on the time schedule. So let me go show y'all. Let me see what starks. They are called okra starks. Okay, un unicorn lady. Okay. Hey, craftable things. Welcome in, queen. So what is the moral to what grows on? I am in eight, B as in boy. So um, the moral to the story is pray over your garden. Pray that nobody harms your garden. Pray that your garden grows. Pray that you remember your garden. Every morning, y'all, I get up. I have never, ever, ever. Every morning when I get up, I go outside and I go and I say, good morning. <laughs> I may look like I'm crazy when I'm outside talking to those plants, but guess what? They hear me. They hear me. And I'm like, is this all it took? You have to become one with your garden. And I never knew that until I met the gardeners on YouTube. Don't sleep on them, baby. Because they, I mean, everybody do something totally different, but they all got one agenda. And that's to grow, grow, and grow. And right now, that's my agenda is just to grow, to be able to say that I went to my garden and picked up, I don't care if it's two okra stalks, two. I did that. We did that. Y'all did that for me. And I appreciate y'all. Hey, Miss Shirley Dabney. Welcome in. Queen. Oh, y'all, today is making with Marilyn's birthday. Let's start mailing up. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Marilyn. Happy birthday to you. Mwah. Okay, so we're going to see. You talk to your plants too? Yes, I didn't know that. Okay. You can grow melons and cucumbers quite. I'm going to do the melons and the cucumbers, GT. I am. So let me get the phone. Let me get the camera. Hold on. I got to take it off of here. Okay. Y'all give me a second. We're going to go. I'm going to put, I think it'll be this camera. Yes. I'm going to put this camera big and y'all pray for me because sometimes when I walk outside, the reception is not, it's not so good. But let's go see.
Okay, let me know if y'all can hear me. Cause I left the I left the um the video. I left the recording. Okay, wait. Okay. Okay, y'all. I don't know if y'all could hear me while I was outside, but um, did y'all see? Was the video okay? Oh, you could hear me. Okay, good. You seen that lizard all in my stuff? Let me stop sharing this screen. You seen that lizard all in my stuff, child? He dead though, baby. I don't know what killed him, but I'm glad. I'm glad he was not crawling when I went outside. <laughs> Y'all would have heard me screaming and hollering, okay? Let me see. He said, keep the lizard and do what with him? Who they, Harper? <laughs> so, was my Oprah looking okay? Or do I need to do something? Would y'all agree that Oprah is ready? Oh, is ready to be picked? Stop playing. I'm trying to go back and read the comments, y'all. Mayor Bear is not in here, but y'all tell her that your girl sung happy birthday to her baby. It's looking good. But it's dead. Ruji, the, the lizard is dead. He in, the, he in the bottom of the bucket. That first okra is ready to be picked, I believe. <laughs> okay. Okay, G GT. If I pick it, what I need to do? Freeze it till the rest of it grow or what? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that's not enough okra to start no skillet to put no fire on the stove. You don't want the okra to get too big because you're going to get too tough. Right. I heard that. Use him for comfort. Okay, Miss Cheryl. Crafty did send me some gloves. So I guess I put my gloves on and pick it up with that shovel looking thing that she gave me. Oh, it would if he was living. Okay. You can eat it fresh if you want to. Oh, so eat it as it grows. Okay. I got you. But yes, y'all. <laughs> Start praying over your garden. Start praying over your business. Start praying over your house, your finances, your relationships, your marriages, your kids, your whatever, honey. Pray and ask God to bless that thing or those things, your health, your strength yo everything okay because without him nothing is possible nothing is possible um because we living in some times baby i would have never ever ever thought okay 
but it's here so i love y'all thank y'all for sharing this moment with me 2.5 baby and we are trying to reach them 3k by the end of the month so my cry out to you guys is if you know somebody who would benefit from my channel send them the link baby okay and i do want to say i acknowledge all the people who share me out i went on the um the tab today and tried to come in back to you guys but um it's a lot it's a lot and trying to run a business get on youtube do this do that and and check emails and calls and yeah it's a lot but it does not go unnoticed and i appreciate each and every one of you don't stop sharing me but i just want to acknowledge that i do see that you guys share me out okay and um, if I don't say it in the, you know, in the comment section of you sharing me out, I'm telling you in person that I appreciate you. It's just that I'm one person and I can't get to all of that. And I'm sorry, but I do love you. So y'all have a wonderful evening. Your girl may come back on live because it's Taco Tuesday and you know how we do it. Okay. Even though my nieces and my daughter don't be want me to, but we're going to do it anyway. We're going to do it anyway. Okay shout out to the super chat okay wait okay big rooster you twerking you want to twerk for some cash okay you want me to twerk for some cash okay let's twerk for some cash we twerking for cash twerking for cash twerking for cash purple patch crew thank you thank y'all for supporting this channel period i love each and every one of you have a blessed night and I will see you guys on the next video. If there is something else that, you know, technical wise, I'm not a tech savvy person, but I can show you what I know. OK, um, if you need help on anything else, let me know and we can do a live video on that as well or in the Zoom class. Y'all let me know what y'all need. I got you. Peace and love and blessings to you all. And I will see you guys on the next video. Let me let me get my other thumbnail.